Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name's Steve Woody and this is a beginner's guide to Block Lords. I'm going to talk you through everything you need to know as a beginning player if you are just getting started with this game. Um, I've only just got started with this myself but I've learned a lot and I'm going to share that with you to stop you making some of the same mistakes that I made but also to understand because sometimes it's hard to find that information. It's all going to be in this video. This is going to be a two-part video series. Part one, I'm going to give you the overview. Part two, I'm going to talk about how to progress quickly within the game. So let's just jump into it. You can sign in via Epic Games or by your email login. If you go ahead and sign in with Epic Games, uh, you need to be connected to the Epic Games launcher and then you'll be able to jump in here and play. Now, I've just started a brand new account. I'm This is a brand new account. I haven't done anything on it um, except for I have just acquired my land. So before you do that, um, let me just talk you through this screen because this is the first screen you're going to come to. There's a little bit of an intro um, a bit of dialogue and you'll come to this screen. So it's important that you understand what this means. So when you first come here, before you just randomly jump into a land, you need to know the difference uh, between what the different lands are. So just looking around the map here, what you can see, if I click on any of these regions, there is a lord that owns the region. Okay, now these are NFT characters that are player owned. So players own these NFT characters, they are unique heroes. Only a unique hero can become the Lord and claim a land. Now, you might get lucky. You might acquire them in a crate, in an airdrop, um, in a tournament. Or you can go and buy them from the marketplace. I think when they were launched, they were around one ETH. Uh, around that, that, that's what the floor was. I don't know what they launched at, but they were the floor was around one ETH. Right now, I believe there's two for sale and they're at six ETH. I do not recommend buying them. There's a very, very limited supply. Um, and so because there's a big demand, the price is really high, but no one's actually buying them at the moment. So just bear that in mind that the people selling them are probably just chancing it. Good luck to them. I don't think you should necessarily go and buy that. It's completely up to you if you want to. Um, I think there's better things to spend your money on personally. So you need to understand there's three parts to this game. I just talked very, very briefly about the web free NFT element. You do not have to get involved in that. Right now, we're not connected to Web3. You don't have to connect to Web3. You do not have to spend a single penny on this game if you don't want to. You don't need to. You, you do not need to spend any money on this game. You can play it for free as a casual player. So that's option one. If you are a casual player with zero money invested, that is option one. Enjoy the game. And we'll talk you through that. Option two is if you are a competitive player. If you are a competitive player who wants to push for the leaderboards and you want to get those rewards and those prizes. Now, please, please understand this looks like very much a pay to win game, which means that to be competitive, it's probably going to cost you a lot of money, maybe even more than you'll make. So you have to decide if you're going to be competitive, how much money you're willing to put in. And there's always probably going to be someone with a bigger balance than you that's willing to put more in. So... If you're looking to make money, the competitive route isn't necessarily the best route. And then that is that brings me to the third option, which is the income generation route. How do you make money? Right? Because ultimately there's a token here, Lords. What's that token going to be worth? What are these NFTs going to be worth? And can you sell them? For example, if you had right now a, a unique Lord and you wanted to sell it, there are offers for one ETH to be able to buy these right now. So they're selling for one ETH. There are offers on the marketplace to buy them for that. So you can make money in this game. So you need to understand, are you a casual player, a competitive player, or are you just looking to try and make some money? If you're trying to make some money, you probably need to spend to accumulate. And we'll talk you through that option. But uh, yeah, let's just jump into this. So you can see here there are lords. These are unique NFTs. And uh, you can't acquire land. So if you find some land that's not acquired, you can claim the region. But in order to do that, you need to have that unique um you need to have that unique NFT, which we don't have, so we can't do that. But when you do that, it opens up um, it opens up some additional options for you. You can claim tax. You've got access to the city coffer, etc. Um, we don't have that at the moment. But when you're looking to, st to start up and to settle down, you need to find land that you want to be on. And so you can do one of many things. One, maybe go into the Discord, find some other people. There's going to be some players that are going to try and recruit you. Um, they may even give you some free heroes because there are some cheap heroes as well. The cheapest hero I've seen at the moment is about $3. So you can buy some cheap heroes. 
um, but also there's some more expensive ones as well. Um, when you do set up the account, you do get a free hero. So there's another a, a possible exploitation of people setting up multiple accounts and selling off their heroes for a few dollars. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's happening. I don't know if it can happen. Um, I'm not going to recommend it, but possible another potential red flag to consider. Um, and, and again, I'm just trying to give you the good and the bad here, all right? So when we go and play this game, we want to get started. You need to look at what is the tax rate, what is the prosperity, and what is the order. Higher order means less chance of attacks, but don't worry. You're not going to be attacked when you're under level 3, all right? Prosperity, the higher the prosperity, the more trade options, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Tax, obviously what you're going to pay, and then any buffs and debuffs. So every um, so often uh, the ruler can actually enact buffs and debuffs and they can change. So just bear that in mind. So again, you might want to find somebody in the Discord. You might want to try and find one, look around. You don't want to go somewhere where you're going to end up paying like a crazy amount. There's some of them that have got like, I think the starting one that it recommended to me over here was like 20% it said or something like that. Um, I can't remember which one. Yeah, look, 20% tax with two debuffs. <laughs> There's no no chance of me wanting to go to this unclaimed region. All right, so what I actually did is I looked around and there was a region over on this left side here and this one had 0% tax. It had 100 prosperity, 100 order and two buffs. So I, I went here. So this is kind of the, the overview right now. The other thing to consider at the top here is your inventory. You start off with 2,000 wood. Um, I've just got a little bit extra, but you start off with 2,000 wood. Um, you can then take that wood and turn it into wood planks. There's stone that you can turn into stone bricks. You can make tools and there's food. Food is very important. You've then got wheat, grain, you've got milk, you've got meat, you've got bread and you've got gold. If you run out of food and you run out of gold, you're in trouble because you need that to be able to keep your farm going. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, after gold, which is rare, by the way, don't waste it. You've got the Lord's token, which at the moment we can't acquire the Lord's token. So uh, we're not going to focus too much on that. And so let's just have a quick look at these options. I'm going to talk about what these Lords tokens, NFTs and things are in a bit. Um, but let's just click up here and, and have a quick look at this. This is the game drop two. OK, so this is kind of where I said if you want to be competitive, this is where you'll do it. There's 49 days until a snapshot takes place. 49 days until a snapshot takes place. There's 250,000 Lords tokens up for the prize pool. Um, and that's going to be split between these different pools, and it tells you what you need to do. So defeat as many farm invasions as possible um, to be part of 5% of this pool. Claim regions, well, we're not doing that because we don't have uniques, so um, ignore that. But it also says upgrade buildings, start adventures, and manage your city well. So there you go. You can try that. Now, you're not going to be managing cities and claiming regions, but yeah. Um, heroes of the pool, own as many heroes as possible. Um, certain collections, stats and traits may be given preference, so bear that in mind. Influence. Acquire and spend influence. Well, the only way to acquire influence is through the um, LRDS token. The only way to get the LRDS token is through Game Drop 1 or the leaderboard. And so you can't get the token right now, so you can't get influence right now, so ignore that. And then Legends, complete as many events and adventures as possible. Burn banners to receive a portion. Cool. So now we know what we need to do. There are two requirements. You need at least eight heroes imported into the game. Doesn't matter how you get those heroes. So I think also the free heroes count, but you need eight heroes in total. So it's probably going to be beneficial for you to buy them. Cheapest way to do it. Um, I'm going to show you how you can get a few of them. But ultimately, I think it's going to be very difficult for you to get that unless you go and buy them. So you, you just bear that in mind. The cheapest hero at the moment is about $3. There is a way that you can get free heroes. There is a way that you can get free heroes using the battle pass. Um, so you're still going to need another five heroes, all right? So bearing that in mind, you're going to need to spend somewhere in the region, somewhere in the region of about $15, about $15 to buy the heroes and $10 on a battle pass. So you're looking, if you want to compete in this, if you want to be part of this airdrop, it's going to cost you a minimum of $25, minimum. All right, so just bear that in mind. So if you're willing to do that, let's go and look at the season and I'll talk about this right now with you. Okay, so the season... All right. This is the battle pass. You can buy it. It's $10. You get free things as a result of it. I'm going to talk you through these now. You get first leaderboard access. All right. So we'll talk about the leaderboard in a minute. Um, the second thing you get is this reward track. You get loads of these perks and bonuses. 
So um, this is the basic one. You get this one anyway. You'll get this one for free. You're already on the basic reward track. You'll get this basic one regardless. But if you buy the battle pass, you'll get the battle pass, the bear slayer reward track, which as you can see, uh, you're getting double. And, and also, whereas you'll get 100 gold here, you're going to get 150 gold here and a chest. And the chest could have something special in it. So just bear that in mind. As you go through here, we're going to go to the next screen. So here we go. You can see again. Um, here you're going to get an NFT. This is an NFT. All right. So you'll get one NFT at this point. Keep going. If we keep going again, you might get one in the chest. Here you're going to get an NFT at the end of... If you get 10,000 experience at the end, you will get one NFT for free if you play for free on the basic reward track. All right. You could sell that. Totally up to you. So that is a way to play this game for free and earn money for free. You can do that. Uh, if you've paid for the battle pass, you're going to get 20% 20 20 more experience. This is massive. All right. 20% more experience is massive. That's really good. Plus all the perks. And you're going to get another NFT here as well. This is a basic one. This is a legacy one. All right. So just bear that in mind. So um, I recommend, I do recommend if you're going to play this to get the battle pass and to get the battle pass first because that experience kicks in. So the experience re required... Um, for you to be able to go and level up here comes from missions so we click on missions and these are the missions so there's battle missions so when you do battles you're not going to be doing battles until level three um farming missions so as you start to play the game you'll get experience and there's only a few of these but once you've done them um you'll do them again all right so this is like generating 120 wheat and then it will be like 250 wheat a thousand wheat and you'll just it'll keep going until it completes um, marketplace so doing stuff within the marketplace so this is on your farm this is battling this is the marketplace events and adventures um, if you're a ruler um, then you get st uh, additional stuff you can do and then influence missions so obviously we can't do some of these at the moment so we're limited it's just unfortunate not really much you can do so that being said let's go back we now understand how the earning potential is in this game okay and I also believe that if you were to pay the $10 for this and get these um, NFTs, you can probably sell them at the moment for about $10. So you can make your money back on a battle pass if, you, if you're worried about that. But then we've got the leaderboard. Now, this is the competitive element. There's a basic leaderboard, okay, which end, the season ends in 20 days. So if you come um, in the leaderboard, these are the rewards. You're going to get gold. Um, okay, great. <laughs> you're going to get gold. Nice. But if you're in the Bear Slayer, if you're in the Battle Pass, you're going to get Lord's Token. This is what you want. So in order to get on here, you need to be on the leaderboard. In the top 1,000, you can get up to 10 of these. Okay, 20 days to do it. So the quicker you get in, the more you'll get. Which is why I'm doing this video for you now to help you. Now, obviously, <laughs> there's some people that are already like massively up there and doing a lot. And they've you know invested a lot of money and they've got a lot of stuff. It's going to be hard to catch them. And it's going to be quite competitive at the top. But you should be able to, if you're playing the game, you should be able to at least get into the top 1,000, especially with what I'm going to show you. All right, so I think we've kind of covered everything there. Uh, we've talked about the game drop, all right, and obviously how you can benefit from that. We've talked about the season. So now what I'm going to do is just in the bottom right, talk about the hub. So when you've got your token, you can then... Um, you'll be able to uh, swap that token for influence. Now, we can't add at the moment. It's not available. You can't buy it. It's not for sale yet. I don't know when it's going to be available for sale. And so until you can buy that, I don't know what it costs, what it's worth. I don't know anything about that. But you have two options. You can either sell it for influence. You do that by clicking on the recharge button and you're buying influence by selling these tokens. Or you can lock it up. So you lock up your bonus for a certain amount of time and you'll get drip fed daily influence. Also, there is a limited edition offer where if you lock up 100 lords for 13 weeks, you can claim this bounty. So again, so limited edition things here as well. That being said, influence store, there's um, a recommended. The recommended is just a mixture of heroes and resources. So if you have influence, you can then sell it um, to be able to either get basic or legacy heroes. This is the lumberjack hero. It's the only one available at the moment. There's two of these and uh, 10 of these. So if you had enough influence, you could do that. 
and uh, Legacy basically has better stats. And, and, and they're typically worth more. I don't know why it's called Legacy and not Legendary, but it is what it is. Um, so you have the heroes. You also have resources available. Um, I, I probably wouldn't waste my influence on this, but you know maybe if you've already spent your influence, you've got none left, up to you what you want to do. And then auctions, not available yet, but unique hero influence actions will be coming later. Again, you can't buy it at the moment. The only way you can get this is by recharging or by locking up. So you either you sell this or you uh, lock it up to get your influence. So that doesn't really relate to you at the moment, but it will do later. Okay, so <clears throat> jumping into the game. Oh, and also just before we jump into the game, when you're on this map level, on any region, you can look at what's available. So I can go to the city hall. You can look at the city hall of this um, region. Only the person who's the ruler can change stuff, but you can you can see the stuff here, right? There's also uh, construction available, marketplace, um, all of this stuff within the city hall. Okay, coming out of, and, and there's stuff that you can't do as well at the moment. So coming out of the city hall, there's a marketplace. Every region has its own marketplace where you can buy and sell things. And uh, you, you kind of want to figure that out. Now, if you buy something from a different region to your own, there's time to get to that region and get back. Um, but you're going to find better rates for stuff. So that whole economy of buying and selling and figuring that out, that's the marketplace. And every region has a different marketplace. So for example, grain here sells for seven. Whereas grain here sells for 10. Um, not uh, B means buy, S means sell. It updates, the items refresh every so often. Some will be, some you can buy, some you can sell in different regions. Some are going to have buffs. Like here at the moment, you can see stone has a buff, but tools have a debuff. So just need to bear in mind what it is. There's also a daily limit on cross region trades as well as your own trades. So just bear that in mind, there are limits. Um, okay. So understanding buying and selling on the marketplace. City coffer, ignore this, doesn't matter unless you are the ruler. Tavern, we can't access at the moment. The library, nothing you need to do in here at the moment. Um, only the ruler can start writing, so there's nothing you can do here, but you can write this book to unlock it. So again, if you're the ruler, it's some bo uh, bonuses, banners. Again, I'm not going to go into that right now, so you can ignore those for now. And workshops we can't touch. So that's kind of me wrapping up part one of this video. Um, there's also a gift code, which we can't do at the moment, and a check-in. So every day, you can check in, by the way, to get yourself some bonuses. So just bear that in mind. If you check in every day, you're going to get some bonuses. Um, highly, highly recommend doing the daily checking and, and being able to do that. So that's everything you need to do at the moment. And then once you're done and you're happy with this and we've covered everything here now, then you can go back to your farm. So choose your region, choose it carefully. And then once you're in your farm, I'm going to start part two of this video now. So I'm going to end this video. We'll go to part two and I'll talk to you all about getting started on your farm. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.